lesson we'll be learning how to assemble the drone components. To do that we're going to learn how to assemble using a joint and an as-built joint as well. The first thing you need to do is import the different components into your drone file. You can do that by, by downloading and uploading the components to the drone project using the upload tool here. You can then right click on the part you want to insert and then click on to insert into current design. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a joint between the PCB and the drone chassis. I'm going to go to assemble and joint and press J on the keyboard. I'm going to select the PCB, so this inner ring of the PCB here. You need to just make sure that these connectors are going down the side of the battery tray. And I'm going to select the PCB mounting, just making sure that we've got the circle of the PCB mounting there. And then change the angle of the joint to minus 45, just making sure that both the PCB is on both mountings there and making sure that the type is a rigid joint, press OK and that will have moved the PCB to the chassis. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move the battery to the battery tray. So go modify and move. I'm going to then select the component I want to move which is the battery. I'm then going to use the arrows here just to drag the battery up to whereabouts the battery tray is there and then just move it across so it's in the right position and then once you're happy with it press OK and then we're going to create an as-built joint so we're going to go assemble as-built joint making sure that they position is captured. So then we're going to create an as-built joint between the battery there and the drone chassis and that's going to create a rigid group between the two components there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a joint between the propeller and the motor. So we're going to go to assemble and joint again I'm going to select the bottom of my propeller. This is the counterclockwise propeller. And we're going to select the counterclockwise motor, which is the one with the white and black um, wires at the bottom of the motor. And I'm going to select the bottom of the shaft there. And that's going to move that to move the propeller to the motor there. I'm going to change the type to a revolute joint so that it is rotating around the motor. Then we're going to, then we're going to press OK. That's moved there now. And the last, and the last thing I'm going to do is I'm, is I'm going to move the motor to the motor mounting. So I'm going to assemble. And joint again. I'm just going to change the type there to a rigid joint. I'm going to select the bottom of the motor there. And then I'm going to select the bottom of the mounting. And it's going to move that to the motor mounting there. And that's going to move our propeller there as well. And then we're going to assemble the rest of the propellers. Just fast forward ahead there, I've just assembled each one of the components to, to the chassis. It should have something that looks a little bit like this. This is a fully assembled drone ready for flying. It's one thing to take into account, just to make sure that you have a counterclockwise and a 
counterclockwise propeller on each side of your drone so that counterclockwise, clockwise and counterclockwise are not next to each other to each other.